محمد موسیقی روحی و ارواح العالمین لتراب مقدم حلفدہ واللعنت الدائمت على اعدائهم اجمعین من اللعان الى قیام یوم الدین اما بعد فقد قال اللہ الحکیم فی کتابه الكریم اسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ونرید ان من على الذین نستضعف في الارض ونجعلهم ائمتا ونجعلهم الوارثین صدق الله العلي العظيم سلامات اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد 15th of Sha'ban has always been important from the time of the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم where he would do a'mal and um, recognize this night to be one of the most important nights in the Islamic calendar uh, after Laylatul Qadr it is the most important night and if you look at the sequence of the 14 infallibles, the 14th infallible is the 12th Imam al -Islam. And if you look at the moon, the moon is complete on the 14th night. Mashallah. So it is the 14th and the 14th, that's why the moon is complete. There are many points associated with the 12th Imam al -Islam. I hope I'm not too loud for you. And I would like to mention the miraculous birth as Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, his birth was hidden due to uh, Namrud who was intending to kill Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. And just like Pharaoh wanted to kill Nabi Musa alayhi salam, the Bani Abbas wanted to kill Imam Mahdi because they had heard the traditions from the Holy Prophet that I will have 12 successors and the 12th one will fill the earth with peace and justice like it will be filled with injustice and oppression before him. Mm. Now just as Namrud believed that he will be killed, just as Pharaoh knew that it is him Bani Abbas also knew that it is them who are the tyrants. Sometimes we don't recognize the tyrants. Sometimes we are confused. Do, do I vote for this person or do I not vote for this politician? I'm not sure if people are here. Many times we are confused. We fail to recognize and we go back to vote for the same people again. But they themselves know that they are corrupt. They know that they are oppressors. They know that they are tyrants. Just as Pharaoh and Namrud knew, Bani Abbas also knew, that's why. And if you want a proof, why would Pharaoh kill 70,000 boys from Bani Israel to save his life? He knew one of them is going to kill him. Likewise, Bani Abbas knew that a man from Bani Hashim, from Ahlul Bayt will rise and will kill them will overthrow them because the Holy Prophet said that he will overthrow the tyrants, all of the tyrants. So they knew it is them. So what sometimes we fail to recognize is that the tyrants know who they are. We many times fail to recognize the tyrants, but the tyrants themselves know it is them. So now when the Abbas had spies all over the houses of the 11th Imam, they had men and women visiting the house always trying to find out if you ever hear of a boy who lives in the house of 11th Imam, you have to inform us, we're going to kill him. So there were a number of 
things that the 11th Imam al -Salam had to look after. Number one, he had to make sure that the 12th Imam comes into this world without anyone knowing. And secondly, once he comes, he is still protected and he is looked after in a way that the Shias also know him and the enemies do not recognize him. 